Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The U.S. threat of sanctions will not delay Russia's delivery of S-400 air defense systems to India and the two sides have worked out alternative arrangements for payments, Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov said on Wednesday. Russia believes India's role in the development of Afghanistan is indispensable, Ryabkov told a small group of Indian journalists, days after U.S. President Donald Trump mocked India's development aid for the war-torn country. Moscow has said it won't be pressured by U.S. sanctions while finalizing big-ticket military hardware deals with New Delhi. Russian officials have said the first delivery under the $5.4 billion deal for the S-400 systems will be made in 2020. In what is being seen as an endorsement to the Indian Tejas's quality, Malaysia may be shifting its interest from the Sino-Pakistani JF-17 Thunder to India's Light Combat Aircraft LCA, and is reportedly keen on buying 30 such planes. Kuala Lumpur has asked New Delhi to send a Tejas fighter plane to the Langkawi International Maritime and Aerospace Exhibition 2019, Lima 19, which is Malaysia's premier defense exhibition, as reported by Business Standard. Malaysia switching to the Indian fighter instead of the one developed jointly by China and Pakistan will be the second setback to Islamabad after Sri Lanka earlier backed away from the JF-17 despite expressing interest in it. The Tejas Light Combat Aircraft LCA, though not fully developed, is considered far deadlier than the JF-17 Thunder fighter by many experts. The Defense Ministry has sought additional funds from the Finance Ministry to meet its expenses in the current financial year and also pay, at least in part, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, the dues that the Indian Air Force, IAF, owes it, government officials said on condition of anonymity. In addition, the Defense Ministry has advised state-owned HAL to use its reserves, about 12,000 crore rupees, officials in the ministry said on condition of anonymity. On Wednesday, Defense Minister Nirmala Sitarman met HAL Chairman and Managing Director Armadvan in New Delhi. India's first human space flight, scheduled to be launched sometime in the second half of 2021, will, most likely, have at least one woman astronaut on board. Chairman of Indian Space Research Organization ISRO, K7 told the Indian Express that women candidates would be actively considered, although he would not like to prejudge the selection process which was still to start. We, of course, would like to have women also to be there, on the space flight. You would remember our Prime Minister had mentioned son or daughter while announcing the human space flight. It would be very good if a woman is part of the first flight. But these things are still to be discussed and finalized. The selection process, for choosing the astronauts, has not started yet, Sivan said. Senior army leaders of India, Australia, France, Japan, and the US on Wednesday batted for freedom, a rules-based order and strategic alliances in the Indo-Pacific to counter China's growing reach and assertiveness. The Chinese Navy added 80 warships in last five years and is a force which is here to stay. Indian Navy Chief Admiral Sunil Lanba said during a session on Indo-Pacific at Raisin a Dialogue. No Navy has grown so rapidly in the last 200 years as the Chinese Navy, he said, adding the force has six to eight warships in the northern Indian Ocean. The Chinese Navy has had a permanent presence in the Indian Ocean, in the form of an anti-piracy escort force, since 2008, he said. There is no doubt that they are spending a huge sum of money in developing their military capabilities. They are modernizing their forces and command structure. The Indian Coast Guard ICG, will acquire 50 new vessels and around 40 aircraft in the next four years, a top official said in Mumbai on Wednesday. K. Nutrajan, additional Director General and Coast Guard Commander Western Seaboard, said with this addition, the force will have 200 platforms, boats and ships, by 2022. Mr. Nutrajan was speaking to reporters at the 7th Joint National Level Pollution Response Exercise. In 2008, we had some 60 platforms, and today we have more than 150 platforms ships and boats and all are operational. By 2022, we will be having 200 platforms. 
The number of aircraft will also be increased from 62 to 100 in the same period. एपिसोड के लिए इतना ही अगर इस वीडियो को लेकर आपका कोई सुझाव या सजेशन हो तो उसे कॉमेंट सेक्शन में शेयर जरूर करें अगर आपने इस वीडियो को लाइक और शेयर नहीं किया है तो इसे लाइक और शेयर करें और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें